Divisibility rule of four. A number is divisible by four if the last two digits are divisible by four. Let's look at some examples. When I look at the number 228, I look at the last two digits and I see there's a 28. And I know that's divisible by four because seven times eight is 28. So I know that 228 would then be yes, divisible by four. When I look at 707, I see it ends in 7, and 4 does not go into 7, so I know 707 is not divisible by 4. When I look at um, 768,456,240, I just, again, look at just the last two digits. In this case, it's 40. I know that 4 goes into 40, 4 times 10. So I would say, yes, this one is the whole entire number is divisible by 4. The next one, 1,246,701. Just looking at the last two digits, we just get a 1. 4 does not go into 1. So I'd say no, this entire number is not divisible by 4. Looking at the next one, 1,234,567,000,000. Thousand one hundred sixteen. Just look at the last two digits. I know that four goes into sixteen. Four times four. So I could say yes. This entire thing is divisible by four. Now some numbers in the double digits, we just know, like nine times four is thirty-six. So I would say yes on this one. But there's only two digits. Okay, this strategy, this divisibility rule of 4 works best with really big numbers. 48 is just 12 times 4. But you might not have known that 12, uh, sorry, 18 times 4 equals 72. So there are some weaknesses. If the double digit is much bigger than, say, 48, not a lot of people know the 13 and 14 times 4 multiplication facts but it is powerful for a lot of these ones that we did see.